A local landmark in South Plymouth is undergoing a major ecological transformation. Located in Manomet, the Tidmarsh Farms had been a hot spot for cranberry harvest for decades. Up until 2010, they had been a major cranberry producer for ocean spray and have since been in the process of converting the entire property into wetlands. Brian Sullivan brings us a progress report. On a side road off of Route 3A in the heart of Manomet, you may come across this vast expanse of land known as Tidmarsh Farms. For decades, this area was nothing but cranberry bogs as far as you can see, and they grew a lot of cranberries. Just how many, you might ask? We did 1% of ocean spray's crop one year. 1%. It's a very large number. Now this area is undergoing a major overhaul to change the landscape, so construction has left it closed off to the public. We were able to get in by appointment to speak with the owners and some contractors to get an idea of just what kind of work was underway. When this land was purchased in 1984, it was all cranberry bogs right out to Route 3A. And up until 2010, the land was used for cranberry harvesting. Since that time, they've implemented a plan to change it over from bogs to wetlands, which will eventually become a nature conservation area. What we're seeing now is the early stage of that transition. People wonder why we are turning this former cranberry farm into essentially a mud flat that you see behind me here. And very simply put, what we're trying to do are a series of strategic actions that are gonna set this site on the path to being wetlands in the future. A lot of this site will transition into being not wetlands. They'll, it'll convert to more of a pine forest. And behind me, you see some pine trees in the background. And you see this with a lot of old cranberry farms. Some of them do just turn into pine forests. We're trying to do a series of things here, coordinated actions here to make it wet again. And so it stays that way over the long term. For somebody walking through this site for the first time, it could actually look a little spooky and desolate with all the piles of dead trees and lumber scattered throughout. Alex Hackman explains that all of this is by strategic design. What we're trying to do is, is kind of jumpstart habitat on the site. It's, before the project, it's, it's pretty devoid of habitat. If you're a fish or, or you're an amphibian or you're a mouse, you're trying to find cover from your predators, there's not a lot of hiding places on this site. Adding all these trees and stumps immediately gives critters a, a home, a place to hide. Over time, of course, the land, as the trees grow up, will start to contribute wood to the site itself. We are jump-starting that natural habitat formation process by proactively adding all these trees to the site. And just further on that point, I would say a lot of these trees came from Falmouth, where uh, my sister division, Division of Fisheries and Wildlife, was clearing um, about 100 acres for habitat improvement. So through partnership with that uh, division, we were able to acquire a thousand trees to add to this site. For those who may be wondering why a family would turn a profitable cluster of cranberry bogs into wetlands, it was a case of technology getting ahead of what was essentially a mom and pop business. Things have changed and they now build uh, cranberry bogs as rectangular bogs and they send a truck down one side with its arm out over the bog and that's how they put the fertilizers and chemicals on and comes back the other side and they're done. If you notice these bogs out here, they are built on old swamps and the sides, the shores are irregular and when you want to put chemicals on, you either put it through the irrigation system or you call in the helicopters. The expense is very high. Further, they have vines now that produce four to five times the amount of berries that these vines produced. So we'd have to rip them all up put in the new vines, and frankly, I'm getting a little long in the tooth. So, and my children don't want to do the cranberry farming. While this land could have easily been sold to developers for a tidy profit, the family all got together and agreed that going green was the best direction to take this. We are hoping this becomes a nature sanctuary, uh, that it promotes uh, activities, both scientific activities and artistic activities, and just contemplation and enjoying nature. So we think that this will become a publicly accessible nature sanctuary. In the meantime, while construction is underway, the area is to be viewed by the public as a construction site. So folks who may have used this area for recreation, nature walks, or just walking their dogs will need to stay clear for their own safety. The property is pretty dangerous right now and it's changing every day. This dike that you're standing on will go away in the future. If somebody's 
biking here or even walking their dog here and their dog runs off into the mud and they chase after their dog, they may wind up up to here in mud. So we don't want those kinds of things to happen. We also have a lot of big trucks and they drive these roads and they, you know, are trying to do a job. At Tidmarsh Farms in Manomet, I'm Brian Sullivan for PCN.